Hello everyone. Um, today I want to show uh, show you this uh, Dynaco Pat5 preamplifier here. Uh, it's sitting on top of a Dynaco Stereo 150 that I had uh, uh, redone quite a while back, and uh, likewise I have uh, upgraded and modified this uh, really nice Dynaco Pat5, really nice faceplate on it. And what I did was I installed and update my Dynaco.com uh, power supply kit into the, uh, the preamplifier. I also uh, uh, upgraded both the line and phono uh, boards with uh, uh, capacitor and semiconductor kits uh, that I obtained online. And uh, I replaced the volume potentiometer, which was acting up, with a, uh, a more modern ALPS. Uh, pot which is uh, which does a much better job than the original potentiometer that was in there. It's getting old and uh, and uh, not performing very well. So um, I did receive a call from a fellow the other the other day, and he was uh, inquiring as to where he could find, I guess, buttons replacement buttons for these things. Now the trouble with the uh, the buttons that were on these uh, preamps is the fact that they're made out of uh, plastic which does get brittle over time and uh, so if you're popping them on and off and cleaning your faceplate and doing all that sort of stuff you run the risk of actually breaking them and I've actually had that happen to me a couple times uh, fortunately I was able to glue them back and get them uh, functioning correctly but in this case the person had lost two of the buttons and was wondering where a person could get replacements and then I started looking online and found that there was a real need for uh, these types of buttons because um, they're very hard to find and if you do find them, they're quite expensive to replace because obviously people need them for their preamps and are not very willing to uh, give them up unless they uh, charge a tidy sum for them. So what I thought to myself was um, I'd help this fellow out um, and see if I could actually uh, do a design build using my 3D printer. So what I did was I used Tinkercad, which is a, uh, uh, a web-based, um, browser-based uh, CAD program that's freeware, it's free to use for anybody. And uh, so what I did was I took a set of calipers, measured up the, uh, the actual buttons that I had pulled off of the, uh, the preamp, and uh, I basically measured all the dimensions and then uh, drew up a CAD drawing which I ported over to um, my 3D printer via Cura which is a slicing program, a freeware slicing program and I basically printed out a set of eight um, new buttons for this Dynaco preamp. Now what I've done here is uh, I've replaced all of the uh, the actual uh, buttons with the 3D printed ones with the exception of this one just because I wanted to show uh, comparatively how they look uh, next to the actual buttons and uh, see how well they, uh, they turned out and I'm quite surprised that uh, yes indeed they, they do pass muster. Now if you get in real close you can actually see some of the striations in the uh, the plastic from the actual printing process uh, compared to the smoothness of the actual button. However, um, you know, if you get to the six inch or one foot rule and beyond, you know, you're hard pressed to actually tell the difference between these buttons and the actual buttons used uh, many moons ago to uh, to build these things. So if somebody is out there and is in need of uh, replacement buttons for these preamps, what I've done is I've posted the, my model, my 3D model on Thingiverse, which is a, um, I guess, a uh, open source website that uh, posts 3D models. It's, they're freely available to the public. And you can print these things yourself and in whatever color. I used black plaque and I made these lime green or red or pink or whatever color I wanted. But obviously I went with the original color of the, uh, the preamp here. And uh, you could either dress up your preamp or uh, 
find repla make replacement buttons if uh, yours have broken or gone missing over the years. So hope this helps. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave any comments on the, uh, the video below and I'll try and get right back to you. Thank you for watching.